fish, didn't it, right? Well, you eat a couple of little bowls of that, next thing you know, you start to gain weight. So how can we stay healthy during this whirlwind time? That's why Dr. Laurel Beverly is here from HealthSpan Physicians. And the holidays, it's sort of like, uh, it's a trap to gain some weight, isn't it? It absolutely is. This is not the time to start a diet. This is the time just to maintain what you've got. Yeah, I cheat a little bit, you know, like just before the holidays come, I start to get a little healthy and careful because I know I'm going to cheat later, but then I end up gaining more than I lost in the beginning. <laughs> It's okay to cheat a little bit, but you know those temptations are coming. So you've got to plan ahead. Whenever you're going to be at the office or traveling, you've got to stock up on the healthy snacks first, fill up on grapes, vegetables, whole grain crackers. That way you can allow yourself to partake in some little goodies and you don't feel so bad about yourself. Yeah, so, so you, you watch what's going in, but then how about the, the, the whole idea of being able to exercise? That changes because of the weather also, doesn't it? It gets more Double challenging. Double whammy. Yeah, it gets harder that way. The thing is you've got to recognize there's already exercise opportunities to, to you. When you shovel snow, you're breaking a sweat, so you know you're getting a workout. Take advantage of that. You're not having to fit in bull shoveling snow and getting into the gym that day. You can do that. Go one step further. Go shovel the walkway for the elderly couple next door. Take advantage of these opportunities to burn off some calories. Yeah, you know, and you were a sports med doc, right? That's correct. Okay, so we're talking about shoveling snow, which you don't do all summer long, so you're doing that. <laughs> then you're trying to work out a little bit. How do you protect yourself so you don't injure yourself trying to get healthy or trying to stay thin in this <laughs> winter period? Well, it is harder to get the outdoor activities in. It's colder out there. You've got to layer up. You have to put on tons of reflective gear. Overdo it with that because it gets really dark at night around here in Cleveland. Additionally, add some indoor activities. Do yoga, do Pilates, things that are easy to do with the whole family and you're not exposing yourself to the elements. Okay, you talk about the whole family. So, so how does the whole family get involved in something like that if they don't really know how to do some of that stuff? Are there, are there ways to find out how to do Pilates or how to get the whole family involved in these things? There's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of online teaching. There's DVDs. There's certainly some things on Netflix. The majority of the areas uh, that are the um, organizations that are involved, yoga and Pilates in this area, offer be beginner classes. It's an easy way to get into it. Okay, so you're, you're, you're talking to us a little bit about our diet. Uh, what, what kind of people, what kind of injuries do you see this, this time of year? What, what, what kind of patients come in that ordinarily wouldn't come in, but because of the holidays, something happened to them? Well, the biggest thing that our ER is going to see is after the first snowfall, there's the people with the heart problems go out and overdo it, and they come in with a heart attack. We want to take it easy there. But the rest of the time, we're seeing a lot of the muscle strains. We're seeing the back pulls. Um, we're seeing the things that come with overdoing um, to the exertional activities outdoors. You just have to take it easy, put a heat back on, take some Tylenol or some ibuprofen, and give it a rest. Okay, so somebody's listening to you right now, and they say, like, okay, I'm going to follow some of this advice. I'm going to start doing, maybe doing a little exercise. Where should they start, or how should they start? You have to start gradually. You have to start very gently. If you haven't been exercising in a while, you can't expect yourself to throw into this and get 60 hours a day, seven days a week. So start with maybe parking farther away from the office and walking ah, in. That's a good idea. Take the stairs instead of taking the elevator. Say just for today, I'm going to take the stairs. I'm going to stand when I'm at work. I'm going to take a walk for my lunch break. Too often in the holidays, we think, okay, just for today, I'm going to sneak in a snack or I'm going to sneak yeah, in a yeah. day. Change the mentality. Say, just for today, I'm going to do something that makes myself a little better. So I should just order that extreme fitness video huh, and put it on the TV and start That's going. where I see the biggest injury. Someone jumps into one of those videos and they come and they say, wow, I've been really taking care of myself, but it hurts. Yeah. Okay, back down. You have a great idea. Keep going with it. Let's just take it at a pace that your body can handle. I love that idea. Just parking the car a little further away. It makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? It does. Get yep. the heart rate up a little bit. Yep. yep. <laughs> Happy holidays and thank you. Thanks so much.